Let's go to Capitol Hill now, where the House of Representatives is continuing debate on four of the 12 appropriation bills needed to fund the government beyond this weekend. The Skyler Henry reports their timeline is tight and a government shutdown looks more and more likely. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he needs more time to pass the 12 spending bills needed to fund the government. So he's pushing for a short-term continuing resolution that would temporarily avoid a government shutdown. We will pass a continuing resolution, bring that rule up hopefully on Friday. But some hardline Republicans say they will oppose any CR, even if it means a government shutdown. I'm a no and will remain a no. I, my advice is uh, buckle up, there's turbulence ahead. Speaker McCarthy tried to sweeten the short-term bill by including Republican priorities such as deep spending cuts and tougher border policies, but those additions make it almost impossible to pass in the Senate. The Senate is working on its own continuing resolution, which has broad bipartisan support to keep the government open for the next six weeks at current spending levels. Or we can shut the government down in exchange for a zero meaningful progress on policy. The White House is warning that a shutdown would impact all Americans. One example, TSA and air traffic controllers would have to work without pay. Look, they're pros and they do what's required of them just like our service members in uniform do. Uh, but uh, it certainly doesn't help with that safety critical job for them to come to work with the stress of not getting paid. The White House says that in previous shutdowns, there were significant delays and longer wait times for travelers at airports across the country. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.